Hey everybody, this is my figure eight puffer butter bean and I just threw his dinner in the tank. It's a bunch of snails you can see lying there on the bottom. If you'll notice off to the right hand corner you can just see the edge of my air stone. I'm not going to bother getting a lot of it on the video. It takes a while for it to process with all those bubbles and everything. It makes the video look all funny. The real attraction in this tank, especially right now, is watching Butter Bean have his dinner. And then you can listen to what I have to say about why we've got the air stone in the tank. Um, you see the red sort of markings? It looks like rust on the rocks back there. I've got that heavily throughout this tank, and that is red cyanobacteria. And so I'm treating the tank with the ChemiClean again. I do that every so often in this tank. And I just kind of made my peace with that a long time ago. It's just not something I'm going to be able to eradicate. I think I do eradicate it from the tank, but much the same way algae will just come back if you've got a favorable habitat for algae to live. You know, if you've got a fish tank, if you get all the algae out of it, it's not a once and done kind of deal. You know, eventually you'll have to clean algae out of there again. It comes back. And I think the same thing holds true with this red cyanobacteria. My fish room down here is in my basement and even though I've got a dehumidifier going um, you know it's my basement and I was hoping we'd see that drift by. If you see a thing drifting by right there that is the exoskeleton or the shell of one of the uh, ghost shrimp in this tank. So one of the sh shrimp just shed its uh, exoskeleton is now a soft shell shrimp say that fast unless it's already been eaten now butter bean of course can go through a shrimp even in its shell without any problems at all you're watching it go through snail shells right now so it's not like butter bean has to wait for it to become soft shell for it to get eaten but I do have a couple of speak of the devil orange mollies in here it's very nice of them to make an appearance on demand like that uh, they would probably go after the shrimp when it was soft shell. So hopefully it's hiding somewhere in here and we won't have to worry about it. The water's brackish, so I don't have to worry about uh, the mineralization in this tank. I don't have to worry about whether or not there's enough calcium and magnesium for the um, shells on the shrimp in this tank because of the um, you know brackish water. You know I mix this up with the marine salts, and so we've got plenty of that kind of stuff in here. But back to the cyanobacteria here's a little bit of a look at what I got going on in there I put a really vigorous air stone in there whenever I'm treating for this and being here in my basement you know again we've probably just got a good proper habitat for this red cyanobacteria to grow I'm convinced that the brackish water or the salt in the water has something to do with it uh, once upon a time a long time ago I did have a marine tank uh, didn't work out real well for me but I did have one, and I had this red cyanobacteria in it like crazy. And every brackish tank or, you know, even low-end brackish, if I've got marine salts in the water, if I take it up above, you know, hard water and get it into even low-end brackish, I get this red stuff growing in there. It stinks. It smells like a wet dog wrapped in old newspaper that's been stored in a root cellar for the winter. It's just a really, really, well, to say musty doesn't do it justice. It's a very, very musty sort of smell when you've got this red cyanobacteria, and it's gross. I hate it, but it just keeps coming back. And again, I think that has more to do with the environment than it does with the product I use. So the product I use is... ChemiClean. I did use the Ultra Life product, and the Ultra Life product works well enough for the blue green slime, but it seems to me that that's all it really works for, and even then, it doesn't really wipe it out. It just knocks it back good and hard. The um, ChemiClean that I'm using now is for the red cyanobacteria, but it actually works really well in freshwater tanks too for the green cyanobacteria. It works well in all of it. If you've got any of this kind of stuff, uh, I definitely recommend trying the ChemiClean. When I use it in here, after a couple of days of treatment, we'll get rid of all of that 
um, reddish brown stuff it'll be a very brownish brown because it'll be dead all that reddish color will be gone out of it in just a couple of days and so the way the stuff works is by oxidizing the bacteria I'm not exactly sure what goes on with the process but I know it uses up a lot of oxygen and that's why you've got to have a vigorous amount of airstone going in the tank I've tried it in the past with just vigorous circulation and not an airstone and that is the one and only time I ever lost a fish while I was using one of these types of products so I always try to you know stress to people take that airstone part of the instructions very seriously you really got to do the airstone or you can run into some disaster at the very least even if your fish don't die the product simply won't be able to work unless you've got a really really vigorous amount of gas exchange going on so you've got to have the airstone I don't know if you necessarily need a wall of air like I've got going on right there but you definitely need a good vigorous airstone in the tank when you're using one of these either the ChemiClean or the Ultralife they both work on similar uh, principles so again I recommend the ChemiClean again I'll put a link down below uh, if you want to check it out so that's about all I've got going on in the tank we just started the treatment yesterday you're supposed to do it for 48 hours and then do a water change I usually do that and then I do a second treatment since I've got the Airstone out and hooked up and running why not just hit it twice and that usually does a really good job of knocking it out of there and you know it'll be months before I have to do this again so just like my other tanks you know from time to time I gotta get in there and do a really good vigorous cleaning to clean the algae and all the stuff out of those tanks this is just part of the maintenance with my brackish tank every so often I've gotta get in here and deal with this red cyanobacteria so again you know I just kinda made my peace with it long ago that this is just part of maintenance on this tank so I'm gonna call it good and get on with it I've got to get everybody else fed down here I haven't even started feeding everybody and it's already uh, after dinner time and I haven't even finished up this video yet so I'm gonna say thanks for watching and make sure you're subscribed that way you won't miss anything you never know what it's gonna be with me and then don't forget of course this one here is my brackish tank so thanks a lot hope you enjoyed and I will see you real soon in the next one